what's going on guys back with a video today which is one that i've not done for a while and that is basically um how to get the home launcher on the nvidia shield to be changed to a different launcher so as most of you are aware this was really easy to do before the last couple of updates but nvidia have since changed that and made it difficult to do well impossible to do unless you change a few things which i'm going to do today so the first thing that you want to do guys is you want to enable your developer options so to do this you want to go into your settings hit about go all the way down to the second to last one which is your build number you just want to hit that eight times i'm already a developer i've already got the mode enabled so it won't pop up but you will get a pop-up saying you are now an android developer so once you've done this you want to go down to the preferences go all the way to the end and you will see developer options appear open this go into debugging and you just want to make sure that this will be off as default you want to switch that to on so you've got your usb debugging on next up you want to decide on which launcher you're going to use i've gone with a launcher called tv launcher um, i'm just going to go ahead and install that from my dropbox now you want to make sure you get this installed before you go ahead and do the commands on the pc so tv launcher install I'm going to open that up to show you what it looks like. We will skip all of this, hit done. And this is what it looks like as default with no um, options changed. There's all your settings and you can customise all these up here. I'll make a separate video showing you how you do them. But what I want to scrape upon here is when I press my home button, it takes me straight back to the Android TV launcher. Now, we're going to change that now. So, when I press my home button, it takes me to the home page of this launcher that we've just opened here. So, I will have a home page set. And when I press my home button, it will take me directly to the home page instead of taking me to this page here. So, as I've mentioned, you're going to need your drivers. No, I've not mentioned that actually yet. So yeah, you're going to need to install your drivers. I'll leave a link down below on how you do that. Once you've done that, installed your drivers on your PC, you want to get a micro USB cable and you want to plug that into the laptop that you are going to be using or the PC you're going to be using. You should hear that beep and you will see this appear on your TV. Using your remote, you're just going to hit the OK button on that then go straight back to your PC. So, here we have got minimal ADB, um, which is just a command prompt. I'll leave a link down below for this as well if anyone needs it. The first command you're going to type in is ADB devices. Hit your enter button, and as you can see, them numbers there with the device written next to it, is my shield tv connected to the pc so next up you're going to type in adb shell you will get a command line underneath that that should look like this then there's just one more step to do and that is to type in pm space hide space com dot google dot android dot lean back launcher once you've done that hit enter and you will see this change package com dot google dot android dot lean back launcher now hidden state true that is all you need for that guys so you can go ahead and close that down move straight back over to your pc and as you can see this has changed by itself so what that command has done is hidden the android tv lean back launcher which is the stock default launcher and it has installed or enabled the first launcher 
that you have installed onto your device so I do recommend just having one launcher installed so it doesn't get confused you can use this with any launcher Nova launcher, HAL launcher, Sideload launcher any of them launchers which are pop popular you can use that with so as you can see I'm going to press my home button and it's going to always take me back and keep me into this launcher so that's about it guys i'll make a video next on this when i next get a spare few minutes on how i'm going to customize this when i get around to doing it um if you wanted to get rid of this launcher and go back to stock i'll show you how you do that quickly you want to do the same go over to your pc make sure that everything's plugged in so that's still plugged in from before you want to open your command prompt again you want to connect again so adb adb devices make sure that your tv your shield tv is connected mine's connected there so you're going to do adb shell get the line for that and you, all you're going to do is type in it's really similar to the first one that you typed in all it is is add in a different word so you're going to put pm space unhide space com dot google dot android dot lean back launcher you're going to hit ok on that and as you can see that's now changed to false whereas before it changed to true um, I'm just going to grab the remote as you can see it hasn't automatically changed but if I now press the home button it takes me straight back to the normal Android TV launcher so that's it guys I hope this is helpful to some of you. I know there are many out there like me who like to tinker and customise their Shield TV. I personally don't like this home launcher. I think it's boring and I like to have things in my own order. Um, it would be made a little bit better if you could hide or remove these stock apps, but you can't. So that's why I've gone ahead and used a launcher. As I said, you can use this with any launcher. You could use it with Nova Launcher to get yourself full Android and stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching guys keep your eyes out for the next video which will show you how i personally customize this launcher i may do it with a few different launchers as well if i get the time but yeah thanks for watching guys